The Unfiltered by Jade. Jade. Welcome to The Unfiltered by Jade, where we get out of the box and dive into topics that are sidelined. I look forward to entertain, educate, and inspire. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, donate, and make everybody know about this. Shopping Assistance Jamaica takes the stress away from finding those items you can't locate or purchasing items online or locally. From searching to purchasing to delivery, Shopping Assistance makes it very easy. Contact us at 876-919-5195 or email us at shoppingassistance2015 at gmail.com. Find us on Facebook at The Shopping Assistance, on Instagram at The Shopping Assistance JA, and on Twitter at Shopping Assist 5. Welcome back to The Unfiltered by Jade. Today, we have two of, you know, some of our favorite persons. And they are also podcasters, as we'll call them. Yes, podcasters. Mm -hmm. And... It's great company, having great company today. And I'm just going to ask my great company to introduce themselves. Hey guys, I'm Trisha and I am the host of Conversations with a Random Nobody. I am a sign language interpreter by day and a podcaster by night. And I'm so excited to be here today. Awesome. Brilliant. Hi, everybody. My name's Richie, and I'm the host of a podcast called Various Logs from the Past. Um, that's what I do at the night time, like Batman, I guess. Um, <laughs> during the day, <laughs> during the day, all my profession is within HR. Um, and yeah, my podcast is just about listening to people's stories as well as my own, generally about things that may have happened in people's past and how it's affected them now, um, whether it's a mental health uh, situation or whether it's just good energy or fun stories, but yeah, just how it's shaped individuals going forward. Very nice. Mm. Very nice. So there are two podcasts that you can go and check out. You won't be disappointed, yeah. trust me. So I'm going to jump right into it now. So I've got All a question, right. sorry, before go that. Go ahead, even. go ahead. Trisha, you're, you're what, a sign language, would you say? A sign language interpreter. interpreter. Yes, I'm a sign language interpreter and I work for a school system out here. So while the teacher is up teaching in the class, I'm sitting in the front interpreting for the deaf and hard of hearing students. Wow. Is that buddy? Could you do that for government for example, like a like government like when yes. they speak? Yeah, yeah so okay. yeah. yeah, with all the press releases and things and you yeah, see the yeah, interpreter up there you know yeah. that could be me it's not but you know it could <laughs> you know we're, we're gonna speak it that that's you we're gonna just aim for that yes we want to exactly. see you up there assigned for real for real right right but actually you wouldn't see me because now what they use um are certified deaf interpreter so normally when you see someone signing it's actually a deaf person and then you uh. have yeah and then you have the hearing interpreter in the front telling them what's being said and then they put it more into american sign language so it's easier for the deaf people to understand uh, okay okay so i was just curious that's all sorry jade sorry that's fine <laughs> so <laughs> okay so do you guys get overwhelmed and stressed during the holidays go on trish i'll let you go okay so i used to Right. Mm -hmm. I really used to because I have three children and, I you know, don't. you always yeah, you always want to make sure that they are taken care of during the holidays. So a lot of times I try and I go above and beyond. But my problem is I start too late. I wait until the last minute, like in November. And I'm like, oh, I need to start Christmas shopping. And it's like, wow, I didn't prepare for it. So now I'm spending too much. You know, and that can be so overwhelming. Mm. Richie? 
Um, sometimes. To be honest with you, I think this time of year, or coming up to Christmas, because of situations which have happened this year particularly, uh, with COVID, and for example, uh, I lost my job during COVID, and oh. it's like, right, so Christmas is coming, I've got three kids as well, they obviously want presents, you know? Right. So it's like you know where is that money coming from to get the presents you know mm -hmm. and it's and it's things like that that nearer the time will become uh, even now to be fair will become more of a a, a debate in my head you know about mm -hmm. how we can get certain things done mm -hmm. uh, so because ultimately you do want your kids to have the best christmas i don't for me personally i don't care you know i don't i don't really care if i got nothing or whatever but you always want to make the kids have their best day or their best right. time um, so yeah, sometimes yeah, definitely, definitely. I would I would say yeah, this time more more so than other years. I would say um, it, so, it definitely is something to think about more. So all of us have three kids. Okay. Mm. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is my first. This is my first year, and I can feel the anxiety raising, mm -hmm. um, and especially when you get those lists. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can yeah. I just yeah. can I just throw my youngest son's list out there real fast? <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> he first of all, for his birthday, he wanted a love sack, which costs a thousand dollars, and that is just a humongous bean bag. Okay? Jesus. That Listen. yeah. I, he you didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he didn't he didn't get it. Like if somebody's listening, they want to bless him, they can, but he didn't get it, but he texted me his Christmas list the other day, and it's a MacBook. It's oh, a, my days. Yeah. P and he's 14. A PS5, <laughs> That's Jordans, <it. laughs> Uggs, you know, hoodies, money, all of this stuff. And I'm like, Zachary, that's over $2,000 for one child. I have three mm. of you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't even know if they realize. Right. Well, probably not. Listen, that PS5, you know, like, like mm -hmm. everybody's going to want that PS5. Everybody's going to want that. Talking, what, what, 500 minimum? Yeah. You know, one of those I, and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Cool. He's yeah. definitely not getting yeah. it. My goodness. Listen, I got from one of the children six pages. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> Six pages, and she keeps on, and she keeps, and they're all girls, and wow. she keeps on saying, and there's more. Oh wow! How old is she? She's nine. Oh, that's so fun though. <laughs> and then, and then I have another one talking about a car that's over one thousand dollars for a car. Where are you gonna drive this car? I. Uh, some kids car where are you gonna drive this car oh, oh. listen man you can't drive it's... during covid you know so <laughs> exactly <Yeah. laughs> hey, the kind of things the kind of things i see them asking for right <laughs> it's like they don't realize that no we that's not in the budget honey no that's it that's it. I, that's it I don't think i'm at the place where because i'm new to this i'm not at the place where i can't i'm like no you're not getting it i'm at the place where i'm trying to okay what can i get can i can i manage yeah, to get trying to these figure things? Out. can i mm. yeah i'm trying to figure it out and it, it it's causing some serious anxiety mm. <laughs> yeah 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 it's amazing that a lot of the anxiety we probably feel is almost nothing to do with us you know, it's, all, ah, it's, it's usually about someone else. Or, other or, people. Or, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. You know, oh. and, yeah, and Christmas is is a clear indication of that. So clear, like I say, like yeah, man. If if I was kid free, for example, or whatever, it wouldn't even it'd be nothing. It'd yeah, be nothing. you know, yeah. it would be really nothing. But kids in the picture, it's a different, different thing. Thing, man. You know, different no, thing. it's the first time. It's the first time I'm not thinking about what can I get myself for Christmas. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. And and even if you and even if you couldn't get that thing for yourself, you're not gonna you'll be really. Okay. I'll yeah, be you'll okay. Be fine. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, they look into you, and I mean, I think last week again, my husband got another list, and I'm like, what's happening? Mm -hmm. What is <laughs> so, what's up? What's this with this list? <laughs> so how is your husband reacting? Is he more like you know what? It is what it is. They get what they get, or is yeah? He's basically Latino. He's like, and isn't whatever. that crazy? You get what you get. But 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 the funny part is. The, the, the funny part of this is my husband's birthday is around that time. 
So I'm planning now <laughs> mm. for my husband's birthday, mm-hmm. plus the kids for Christmas, mm-hmm. plus Christmas gift for him. And I'm like, yo, what, what's happening? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hard. And go ahead, Richie, were you going to say something? No, I was, yeah, I was going to say it is. And I think with your husband, so he may be used to it, isn't it? I guess. Yes, he is. You know, yeah, yeah. He's probably used to it. So he's probably fine not giving certain high cost presents or whatever. You know, right. He's been there, done that kind of thing. He's been there, done that, right. Yeah. But I get I get your, your, oh, you would be different in that sense because like mm-hmm. you said, it's your first time. So I, I get the, the balance that has to be kind of happen, you know, in those kind of situations. He has, to, yeah, he has to be saying, no, we're not doing that. No, yes. just relax. Yes. That's, yeah, yeah. that's, you know, and kind of help. But I mean, I'm just, I, I, I don't know what to expect. And I'm thinking back as a child, I was excited and waiting to get my gifts. So, you know, mm. these, these children now are excited and they want to know what's coming and they want to see a whole heap of gifts because it's Christmas and the excitement and everybody's supposed to be dressing the same way and oh, everybody's no, supposed no. to get the same <laughs> way and you know no. we're supposed to be in our Christmas pajamas and you know these you know fancy that's not, things. It's not a requirement, you know. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> all of that is not a requirement. It definitely like, is not. And that's what I've realized over the years as well. Like some things are just not going to get bought and, you know, and guess what? They're going to be all right because <laughs> I re- <laughs> yeah. just like, I no, listen, what? because I sound like you listen. Um, <laughs> when I was younger growing up, you know, Christmas, of course, I was so excited. And my mom, I would give my mom the list, write down everything that I wanted. And Christmas came and I'm opening presents and I'm like, Ma, like, this wasn't on my list. Like, what is this? I don't, I didn't want a turtleneck, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> there was a um, an umbrella one year. I was like, Mommy, I didn't ask for an umbrella. Like, I got an umbrella and turtleneck for your kids. I, I wanted baby alive, you know? I wanted. <laughs> And but you know what? I got it. I opened it, and then I was oh like, "Oh my god!" There was slight, <laughs> there was slight disappointment, but it's like it is what it is. I didn't mm. die. You know you what go. I mean? I'm go. still alive to live. A, you know, to be disappointed yeah. again. But you know, it's okay <laughs> because now I can look back and say, you know, my mom tried her best. Yep. You know, yep. so even though I was a little disappointed at Christmas each year, I didn't die. Right. Mm. So yeah. I'm saying that to say you just have to do the best that you can do and then mm. they'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I, okay, the ki- I the kids won't like that. I don't care, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Listen, I'm, with you. I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I'm thinking to myself and I'm saying, wait, did I really get Christmas gifts? Or did I get hugs and food? Like they were just, oh, we have a whole heap of food. <laughs> mm-hmm. And that was it. But to be buying Christmas gifts, no, it was five of us. My parents were not going not, to be not buying. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're not. <laughs> and we had and we were okay. But I realized it's the Amer I think it's the American tradition because in, in Jamaica nobody cares if we're wearing the same clothes or not. Exactly. We wake up, it's Christmas, we want to have our sorrow, we wanna have cake and mm-hmm. food and everybody's good. But yeah. I mean, th- different cultures. Yeah, and yeah. and I, just because you're here, you don't have to succumb to that. Don't feel the mm. pressure to be that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Do you? Uh, obviously, I know before Christmas you got Thanksgiving, which is coming up soon, right? Mm-hmm. Hey, that's the next one. And, <laughs> oh my gosh! And that seems to be because we don't in the UK we don't celebrate Thanksgiving. Right? Oh, that seems to be a big deal. It's America. it's a big deal. I went on the road today and I saw people going Thanksgiving shopping all over the place. And I'm like, shoot, did I get everything that I need to get for Thanksgiving? Mm. Is it going to be okay? Mm-hmm. Is everybody, I see people already putting up their Christmas trees and their lights. And I'm like, That's oh ridiculous. my goodness. That's oh my, Cause everybody's preparing for Thanksgiving and the decorations and people going to buy all these things. And I mean, my husband, I, I, I had a conversation with my husband today about it. And he's like, yeah, you don't need all of those things. No, he's right. It's going to come. It's going to go. It's going to go. <laughs> we yeah. don't exactly. need to get yep. war, holy for warmers. And it's, it's not no. this big thing. No. no. Very yeah, good husband. Very good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Definitely. I mean, in the book, but the book, you know, people can be drawn into the excitement of things. Yeah. And I don't think we understand how it impacts people and being anxious. Um, and how they have to really deal with it because some people they don't have the money to be buying their ham or their mm. turkey or mm. or mm. this big thing that people make it to be this big hurrah that people make it out to be and i mean you know the advertisements are out there everybody having sale now everybody yep. is yep. doing you know buying everything and what is it? Black Friday sale or so? Yep. I think yeah. I was saying to Monday as well. Right. I think I was saying to Trisha. I think it was last week or so that I can't. I am going to Marshalls to buy <laughs> what is it called? Dishwashing um, soap dispensers. And mm -hmm. I'm oh my god, the prices. And I'm saying, and to say, listen, I think I'm an alcoholic where this is concerned. But I should say shopaholic. Yep. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. you're going and you see the price is going down and everybody wants to buy. And I'm getting anxious yeah. and I have to say, stop, Jade, stop and breathe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you you yeah. don't have to be getting anxious over these things. You don't have to, you know. But it's hard for people with anxiety to deal with these rush of events yeah. coming and the things that they need to do or what the culture says that we need to do. Yeah, definitely. Have you two, and this is, I guess, on a similar subject, and I think we might talk about this anyway, but have you two ever gone to, you know, over Christmas I'm talking, ever gone to, what are they called? Like soup kitchens, I guess you'd call them in America, mm. um, or shelters or something like that to help out and things have you two ever done anything like that before i no i haven't i haven't yeah i have not done anything here but i've done it back in jamaica yeah yes yeah, i did that um when i used to be a part of the youth ministry at the church I attended a couple of years ago. We cooked Thanksgiving dinner for um, a homeless shelter that housed young people. Mm. And we did that at Thanksgiving, I believe. But other than that, it's like the, the thought comes to me during like the week before Christmas or something. And by then they already have all the volunteers. So yeah. it's something that I want to do with my kids and to show them. But mm. it always comes to me too late. Yeah. 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 I've never done it. I've never done it. It's something that I've always been interested in doing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I've just never, I've just never done it. But it's just, I mean, this year can be an opportunity to do it. I don't know how yeah. things are with um, with the COVID. pandemic and riots. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Okay. But you know, during COVID, people still need to eat, right? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. More people need to eat. And 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 speaking speaking of that, for uh, for the 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 holidays, I realized that it can cause certain things. I think I was sharing with you guys that I used to work at a suicidal firm mm -hmm. and it's around the holiday that we have most persons trying to commit suicide or committing suicide. Mm -hmm. crazy. Most persons getting depressed. And yeah. the, the truth is when I just started working there, I couldn't understand because, you know, I'm like, oh my God, Christmas is a good time and everybody's excited. And when I saw the amount of persons that attempted suicide we had to go in and speak with them or they're coming in and speak with us I, I was shocked because i thought it's the most wonderful time of the year mm -hmm. apparently not mm -hmm. yeah. because people are lonely mm. they feel bad because they don't have family yeah. to spend time with mm -hmm. they feel bad because either they're not talking to their families or so and i remember trisha put up something said something to us saying that's the time when people don't need to apologize to their family members make amends mm -hmm. of certain things but it is so disheartening that with the 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 whole celebration you have people who are depressed and they're sad how is it that you think that we can help persons like that around and even ourselves how is it that we deal with it i mean you probably haven't felt depressed or lonely or sad during any christmas i mean mm -hmm. i spent hmm, one of my first christmas what is it single should i say single almost mm -hmm. well, separated and that for me was kind of hard i had mm -hmm. no husband waking up to <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um i woke up alone and i i didn't know what to do Girl. I did not know what to do. <laughs> I was, Trisha? I was, I was excited. I was happy. I don't know. <laughs> I, I just felt 
for me, it was the whole situation for me was so freeing that I was looking forward to doing things by myself, like, you know, so I can understand where you're coming from. But it wasn't like that for me. But if someone's in that predicament, I would say to find someone whom you can talk to because nine times out of 10, somebody that you know is going through the exact same thing. And so if you share your story with them, you know, it'll help them. I think I'm a big supporter of, you know, just sharing stories with people in order to, you know, bring them out of a certain situation. Because if I know that I'm struggling being alone for the holidays, um, you know, my coworker might be going through the same thing and we might end up linking up and hanging out together on a holiday. So it's so important just to talk to people and, you know, ask questions. I don't know. Yeah. I, I... When I think about it, I think, I don't know if from our, it's almost like the other coin of the situation. So you've got our side Mm -hmm. where we're worrying about, you know, having anxiety over these certain things. Then you've got the other side and uh, I'm trying to think how I can compare it. So for example, if we say, um, I'm worried about food, let's just say, you know, my my fridge is running empty, you know, I'm worried Mm -hmm. about food just generally. Mm-hmm. But then you've got people on the other side of the world who just literally have no fridge, you know, or have no food. Mm, so it's almost, yeah, so it's almost like just the other side. Like, it's, it's us thinking about what we're going to get for our kids, yeah. Mm-hmm. Their side is, I have, not, I have no one, you know. I have nothing. I have no one to celebrate with. I have no mm. one to give a present to. Um, mm-hmm. I have no one to call, potentially no one to call. Um, whether they have family or not, you know, uh, it, it's so tough. It is so tough. Mm. I think sharing a problem or sharing a concern, I agree with Trisha on that. Like, if you have somebody, you can then definitely do so. But some of them don't even have uh, anybody. Yeah, don't even have anybody. You know, and wow. the suicide I never thing. Like, considered that. Yeah, yeah I some of them. Might, that. Might, they could be in, for example, if you're in a uh, a care home, let's just say, for example, or you've seen everybody pass. As in everybody in your family, I'm talking. You've seen, you know, your wife or husband pass. You've seen your kids pass. You've seen X, Y, and Z pass. Mm -hmm. Christmas is a tough time. Like when you've had, when you, when the tragedies have kept on coming and you're just there kind of thing. So I can imagine it being extremely tough. I I have no idea what it would feel like. Um, But I think it would be so tough just to have no one to celebrate with. And I don't know if there's... um, like websites or numbers or things like that that people can call if they're lonely. I don't mm-hmm. know if that that there's if that exists. I would imagine it probably does. Um, but yeah, it's it's just I don't know, man. Like working for you, Jade. Working on a in a suicide. What was it? A suicide ward or suicide, suicide firm? Firm. Mm-hmm. Ah, that would be so. Like for me, or for what you may have seen in that, must have been so tough. It right. was, it was, it was very tough and I mm. could empathize with persons because yeah. I've lost my father. Mm. Um, <laughs> so around Christmas was a bit difficult not having him there. Mm-hmm. You normally have him there. Christmas was this big thing and he was the instigator for it, you know, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden Christmas comes. Okay. What do we do now? Wow. You know, that yeah. dependency that you have been on. Oh, right. So when persons, ca- when, when persons came and you know, oh my God, they're trying to, they want to kill themselves because they're per, whoever has died for them or whatever. I, I can understand. I may not understand to the magnitude because everybody's passing is different. Yeah. And how everybody feels it is different. But I'm able to understand, okay, the, oh, well, it must be sad. I've, I've had situations where um, there's a, somebody came in and they couldn't afford like a shoes. They wanted a shoe for a Christmas holiday and they couldn't afford it. And, the mom came in because apparently he tried to kill himself mm. and this is a teenager and his mom what? came in with him and when she was saying oh she don't have the money or whatever he just ran out of the office and i don't know where he ran and me now take off mm-hmm. behind him trying to catch him and i'm mm-hmm. like oh my god he and it was so heartbreaking to me. I mean, persons probably could understand it's a shoe why are ball for but yeah. I mean seeing seeing your your other peers, 
mm. getting shoes and whatever and yeah. you know and you're not able to even get a pair of shoes for christmas mm. Mm. He really does things because his his initial state was I'm gonna kill myself because I can't even get a pair of shoes. Hmm. You know? Yeah. He's not even looking at it that hey my mom can't afford yeah. this pair of shoes at That's this it. time. Mm. And I think when you're younger, uh your yeah, I think your your understanding of certain things may not be fully developed. Because if you go to school and you do see everyone in the new Jordans, for example, or everyone in with the new clean kicks or whatever it is, and you don't, mm-hmm. it's like why don't I Mm -hmm. like, am I not good enough? Maybe I I don't know. You know, I don't know. And I think that plays a lot into people's minds, uh, kids, even adults, to be fair, sometimes adults, but it just plays. I think we all see things different and it is so hard to comprehend um, how people may think of certain things. You know, we, we just don't know. Like it's just so like, I, I, you know, me as a person and probably you guys as well will be like, it's only shoes. But then other people just see things different. And, yes. you know, we can't, we, we, we could try to understand how they see mm-hmm. it, but we never will. Mm-hmm. Like, we, never, we probably never will understand. Uh, but we just have to, we just have to almost accept that that's, that's, how, they, that's how they see it, I guess. Yep. Yeah. We just don't, we just, we can't look at it from our point of view, basically, and say, right, right. this is how I would do it. So why can't you do it like that? Like, it's, it doesn't mm-hmm. work like that. Like it just yeah. doesn't work like that. It's just, it's just hard, man. It's hard. It it's a very hard know, time of the it's, year. It's it's yeah, it is. Mm. Because Trish? yeah, I was gonna say that as individuals, our life experiences impact how we look at things and how we behave. So because we were brought up in a certain way and we have uh, morals and things doesn't mean that the other person has the same thing. So we have to, on the outside, you know, not hold them up to our standards because yeah. what their standards are are totally different. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. I think, yeah, what Richie said is so important that you cannot clump everyone into our yeah. um, way yeah. of looking at things. Yeah, we're not mm. monolithic. That's what it is. Y- yes. yes. That's my favorite word. Like, okay. yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Richie, let me ask you a question. You said that you're not really so excited about the holidays and whatever. Mm. Is, your, what, is your wife the same? N- no. As in, yeah. she, she's... She, she loves celebration. She loved the she loves the celebration days, whatever it is, Christmas, birthdays, Easter, Valentine's, yada yada yada. Like she loves all of the celebration days, and I think for her, to be fair, she's probably feeling more anxious than me mm. um, because she definitely wants it to be perfect for the kids. Uh, like, oh, if I think okay. about this year compared to last year, so for last year, for example, I remember me buying a, a, a tree. Um, like a, I can't, I don't know what it was, an eight foot or whatever tree. Eight foot um, tree. Yeah. Wow. And, and literally, that you know, the ones a, where they you literally cut down, you know, the actual real trees. And mm-hmm. Right. Like mm-hmm. Right. And so I had to have the tree and I remember carrying it myself, like to try and put it on the car, bring it to the house. The kids loved it, you know, decorating it, making sure mm-hmm. there's no bloody squirrels in it, you know, literally <laughs> <laughs> that right. kind of stuff. Right. Um, it was great. Like, and I want to think about, and the presents, obviously, you know, presents under the tree, yes. you know, all that kind of stuff. Fast forward to this year now, I can't see that happening. You know, I can't see me getting that tree, for example. I may be, I might get, a, we may get a smaller one or something, but I, I can't mm. see the same excitement around that. Um, mm. And for me, what's exciting is probably my kids being excited. Yes. Um my missus, I think she definitely worries more around making sure that they have what they what they want for Christmas. And some things they want is reasonably priced. You know, it's, it's mm-hmm. fine. But then you've mm-hmm. got other things like the PS5, for example, where mm-hmm. they haven't necessarily said they want it, but it'll be nice to get it for them. You know, that kind of thing. So, right. uh, yeah, it's. I think can she's I, definitely more anxious than me. More, can more I jump in real me. fast? Mm-hmm. Because yeah. you just said, like, they didn't ask for that PS5, but it would, <laughs> it would be nice to give it to them, right? <laughs> so, no, last Christmas, I thought it would be, you know, my kids didn't ask for an Apple Watch, but, yeah. you know, I, I thought it would be nice to get it for them. So yep. I got it for them, and they were like, oh, cool, Apple Watch. 
what? You know, I can't stand that. <laughs> I literally can't what? stand that. I so can't let's stand it. No, yeah. yeah but, so I'm not. But, no, so this kids. year, <laughs> I'm not getting nothing I think would be nice for them. Okay? Uh-uh. I'm going to get them uh-uh. either yeah, what PS5. they need or money. <laughs> but PS5 is different. Yeah. Like, yeah believe, that right. is quite a different, a different, uh, a different thing. Like PS5 yeah. is, is no joke. That's but when joke. you said like, it would be nice, it just it would brought be nice. that memory back. <laughs> Listen you know, to me. Of when I, I, I thought it would have been nice to get them those Apple watches. And you know, like, oh, you know, okay. you know how you're excited to go give them that Apple watch, and yes. they're like, oh, okay, yes. an Apple yes. watch. Yeah. Yo, yeah. listen, I have I have heard of of parents buying their kids things that the kids have been asking for it how long and the parents finally buy it and then you have the kids playing probably with a box oh gosh come, oh, come oh, on yeah. oh yeah there, come there's on that now. too there's that come too. on now when they're like <laughs> super young and you get this cool toy and then they're playing with the box that it came in and you're like really seriously seriously and i mean there are even some of the gifts that you buy that they want and they come they're oh my god i want it i want it and finally mm-hmm. buy it after two plays they're done with it come yeah, on yeah. and exactly. you, that does that does it it just it irks me i'm like it and, irks me so and bad yeah and that's why i said we can't go crazy about this one day because we have to live afterwards and you know the kids they're they oh they're so excited to have it but then they have it and like you said one play two play and it's over so that mm. makes me realize that it's really not that big of a deal in the first place it's wow. true wow what, what i want yeah. to know is are we all right so i how should i put this i don't want to put this in a how should I put this? Are we growing our kids to understand the importance or to understand how to appreciate the things that we give them? Because there are times when, oh, they want this and they want that and you buy it and give them and they're like, okay, thanks. And they move on. Or sometimes, oh, like as Richie said, the, the, the PS. The, the game, you buy a game or you buy the watch and you give it to them. And, you know, sometimes they don't even seem appreciative when other people don't even get that for Christmas. Mm-hmm. So even for, the, for, for my girls, I have to say sometimes to them, you need to be grateful and thankful for what you have. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You want these big fancy things and everybody knows we want you to be happy. We want you to be excited, but you can't get all of these things that you want all the time. Yep. I, there I are think... people out there who don't have anything. So yeah. when it is that you get that Apple Watch, you better, you better. Be, let me see that you're happy about it. Mm-hmm. I think, I think it depends on the age. If I'm honest. Mm-hmm. Um, I think because I've got a 17 year old, mm-hmm. and he, you know, he understands more about mm-hmm. the cost of things. You know, um, I've got an 11 year old and a six year old. Yeah. So the six year old, forget about it. Like she just, just whatever, <laughs> like, just whatever in it. Um, the eleven-year-old, he, he may understand, and he does. To be fair, he doesn't ask for anything too expensive. But I don't think he, they have the full grasp of mm-hmm. things when it comes to that kind of stuff. Although we say, for example, I, and I'm I I'm usually quite honest or we're quite honest when we say like can't afford it. Mm-hmm. You know, can't afford it. Mm-hmm. There's no mm-hmm. point in trying to. You know, but the things up. about it yeah exactly mm-hmm. you can't afford it we don't have the money for it that's expensive you know we're not going to get that because that's expensive you know so we're quite thinking about that but I, I think it just depends on age i think sometimes kids get it sometimes they don't when it when like you said around uh other kids having certain things i think when they see it i think it just it makes them think why don't i have it you know i, I yeah i just think it depends on age it's, yeah. it's hard to it's hard to drum it in them because they just forget things as well. Like mm-hmm. kids, they're just, just kids in it. But yeah, it's, it's a tricky I, one. It's a tricky one. It's just yeah. hard. It's just hard for me. And I struggle with that with my youngest son, the one who gave me the $2,000 Christmas list. You know, <laughs> his friends tend to get things easily, right? Mm. They get They get things. And so he'll come to me you know, asking for the same things. And I'm like, you know, I just, it's not in the budget. Like that thousand dollar bean bag, bruh, are you serious? <laughs> and he, he was looking at me like, well, are you going to get the black or the white one? 
No. <laughs> like, right. right. It's like, do you understand this type of money? I just would never throw it at a beanbag. But, and he's 14, right? Mm. So mm. I have to have these conversations with him. Like, look, I cannot afford to buy you that beanbag that costs one thousand like no, not sir. even a hundred no sir but I at that age beanbag? yeah at that age you would think that he would you know no okay i'm not gonna ask mommy for that like that's a that's a thousand dollars yeah nope nope he doesn't nope nope, <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. and he, he I mean, wants invisalign that that yeah, his chest is very high so very very high mm. i told i told him that, and that's my youngest zachary like you have to make sure you go into a profession that makes money <laughs> <laughs> because he, his chest is so high he wants seafood all the time he wants you know all these yeah. nice things yeah. and it's like i can't give that to you buddy i'm sorry that's the other thing and you know forget even outside of gifts it is about that stuff as well just like i want sushi like, mm -hmm. Hmm, okay you want sushi mm -hmm. every day like, mm -hmm. like <laughs> look, mm -hmm. look, crab man. legs look, uh -huh. yeah once in a while cool <laughs> You know, and and so but Richie, it's, it's like, the time. and then I question myself, like, where did I go wrong? Because even my <laughs> oldest, he's at college, right? And in college, you you struggle. You're supposed to, yep. you know, eat noodles, drink, no, you know, water, whatever. My son is there eating sushi. What? That's, that's... He's in sushi at college. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I, I, no. I saw you growing up in a. No, that's... how did you grow? How and... did you grow these kids up? <laughs> and that's what I get back to, like. Why don't my kids realize the value of things, right? And I realized I gave them too much. I was about yeah. to say, yeah, I think we yeah. all suffer from that. Not just you, mm. I think we all, think about it, like, from the child's one onwards, yeah, mm -hmm. we usually buy them something. Let's just use Christmas, for example, and birthdays, right? We buy mm -hmm. them something. And it's usually whatever they want when they're younger, because what they want is not going to be that expensive. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if my daughter wants a doll, I buy a doll. It's, it's whatever, isn't it? 30, 40, whatever it is. But as they get older, it's like that that 20 pound sterling, for example, present, mm -hmm. then it gets to 50 pounds. Mm -hmm. And so they're growing year, up. Next year it gets eight. Exactly. They're growing up. Oh, yeah. 80 pounds. Mm -hmm. Then it goes to a tracksuit, for example. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. With a hoodie, you know, bottoms and hoodie, which could be mm -hmm. 150 pounds. And I'm like, mm -hmm. whoa. Mm -hmm. Like just for those two pieces or something. Mm. That's how much it costs, and then it then it's the trainers on top of that, the sneakers mm. on top of that, and then it's mm -hmm. you know it, it just goes up the, the the because we've spoiled them ultimately you know yes. for their for their whole lives in regards to presents and gifts. That's where I think we probably go wrong. But at the same time, I don't know what you guys' childhood childhoods were like, mm -hmm. but you know it was it wasn't it wasn't great from a gift perspective for me, mm -hmm. right? So it's almost like compensating yep. as you uh, compensating for, for the children because you don't want nobody to yep. go through what you went through, you know? Yeah, I think that's um, what most that. parents tend to do. Yeah, yeah. Mm. We tend to want to give our kids things. I want them to have the best because I didn't get to have it. So mm -hmm. I want them to have the best, but then they grow up. Only yeah, wanting in college. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they grow up only wanting certain things, and if it is to tell them no, they get upset. Oh my mm. gosh! Mm. Yep. That's and, so true. And it's so it, it's it's it comes out to the fact that even as parents, we need to be so careful not to say that one to deprive our kids, but we have to teach them from their young mm. how to do certain things. Yeah, mm -hmm. because they're gonna yep. they're gonna grow up and feel like, oh, mom and daddy has money. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's yeah. just go about. It's, it's as if kids want parties, and you're saying to them at, at certain age, no, you can't have party. No, they're asking because before they could talk, mm -hmm. you were hosting these big parties for them mm -hmm. that they really knew nothing about. Yeah. Because yep. by the time it reaches eight o'clock, the kids were sleeping, and you were the only one with it, with the adults in the party. Yep. So now you grow. They 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 are grown up, and now they want parties, or now they want these extravagant things, and you can't give it to them. Yep, yep. I, I listen. See them them party days, right? As in, when mm -hmm. my children get to the point where they want to go to parties and stuff. I don't know how I'm gonna feel, man. <laughs> <laughs> and they're getting there. Like my older ones, they obviously getting there, in it. Like he's not, yeah. he's not really a party person, but 
man, listen. listen. Well, maybe, maybe COVID will slow that down. It absolutely has. Fair, you know, it but, has. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, Thank God for small mercies with, with COVID. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very true, so very true. I have some uh, tips. I mean, you know, I wanted when I when I thought I was having this topic for dealing with anxiety, I was like, huh, how should I make this a you know nice and upbeat thing? But I, I don't think there's anything in anxiety that is really nice and really upbeat about it. Mm-hmm. Um, I just think it's it's a topic that we need to kind of help people with, and many people will um understand or be in touch with this this topic because i mean a lot of people are going through this especially during this time of mm-hmm. covid mm-hmm. um where persons can't do certain things or can't afford certain things you know so i was looking up some things so well i was looking up some what is it called i had looked up you know how to get through the holidays and i saw about eight things that was giving people some advice about it. When we're saying keep your regular routine, don't change your routine. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Don't say, oh, because it's 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 coming to Thanksgiving or Christmas, let me now do more than I normally do. No, because that will bring on stress to persons. Yep. Um, think moderation. So we're not gonna buy no thousand dollar bean bag. <laughs> and we're not buying any car that you can't drive anywhere more than have it parked up there. Mm. Yeah, you know, for no reason at all. Be realistic and try not to expect the ideal holiday. Mm. <sighs> how you how do you do that without the excitement? Because Christmas comes with excitement. Right. So And you need to remember that excitement also comes from a lot of t- uh, television. So whatever we watch. You're gonna have Christmas adverts. You're gonna have Christmas films. Jeez, you're gonna oh, have geez. all all of that kind of stuff. So it's not like you can kind of forget ignore about it. it. Yeah, ignore it. Yeah, you can't ignore it. it it's just gonna be there. And yeah. I went I went somewhere today, and it was just Christmas songs, and I was like, oh. God. And I started yeah. I started to feel the anxiety coming on when I started to hear the Christmas songs. I was like, yeah, it's coming to that time, huh? Mm. <sighs> you know, we have to say. Mm-hmm, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say when you said you heard the song or whatever brought the anxiety on. And when I think of the holidays, guys, you guys are going to think I'm crazy. When I think of Thanksgiving, when I think of Christmas, it's like all the excitement. And then it's like, okay, it's over. It's kind of like having an orgasm. It's It's like we build up this hype. Right, it's over. All right, I'm done. You know, no one's looking forward to anything anymore. (laughs) I'm going to like all them orgasms so we have to have one song. (laughs) No, I mean, it's amazing. Like, you build up to the hype, you know, and then it's like, oh, it's Thanksgiving. You ate, you full, it's over. So kind of like, look at it that way. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just know, just know that the day after everything goes back to normal. So ple- I just don't want you or anyone else just going out of the way and, mm. you know, creating this hoopla. And it's like, as soon as it's over, it's going to be like, oh, okay, whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? A lot of people put themselves <laughs> into debt over Christmas. Oh, you know? oh yeah. yes. Oh, yes. Say, one year I tried to buy, and it wasn't even intentional. I guess it was just like, I, I felt like I had to buy a gift for everyone. Like mm. brother-in-law, sister-in-law, grandma, no, girl, grandpa, you're going too bad. cousins. And it's like, I, I dished out so much. And I didn't get anything in return. Not that I you're was not getting, looking. You're not getting right. no gift. Not that I was looking, but it's like. They 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 probably realize, oh, I don't have to get her anything, not in a bad way, but it's just not necessary. So all of those yep. extra gifts that I got weren't necessary. But my mind was telling my mind is telling me no. It's like, but my <laughs> mind my mind was telling me you have to they're gonna think that you don't love them or they and it mm. was not even true. Yep. Yep. Sometimes yeah. it's we tell ourselves some stuff, you know. Yeah. Like, it is, you know. We put ourselves under so much pressure. I think Trish yeah. was saying that earlier. We yeah, you said that. We put ourselves under so mm-hmm. much pressure. 
for what? To, 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 Unnecessarily. And then after, as, as as Richard said, some people go out and take loans. After you take the loan, oh, no. when the new year starts, you're you know, trying to pay back. And remember that January has six months in it. Six weeks. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Six yeah. months. Six huh? months. January six is the weeks, longest. Uh, 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 six months. <laughs> <laughs> ja- Listen, in Jamaica, we had a thing where when January comes, you're waiting and waiting and waiting That's for one thing so to get true. paid. Yeah. You yeah. get n- hold up because let me tell you why it is said that way. In December, you get your pay a week or two weeks early. early. Yeah, it's usually two weeks early. Yeah. So that you can go Christmas shopping. Mm-hmm. So yeah. by the time you have gotten your pay about the second week of December and you're not going to get your pay again until the end of January. Mm. Okay? Yep. All right. So there are six months in January. <laughs> like, like there's five years in 2020, kind of. Precisely. Okay. <laughs> Precisely the point. Okay. Yes. And, and the funny thing is, when you get paid early... That money's going on Christmas shopping. Uh, so it's not even going on like you, nothing. You're speaking you know? it right now. Exactly. Yeah. On, yeah. So you're broke. Like, to, like yep. so, get paid on the mm. second week of December. You're broke. That's you're it. broke. It's done. So by Six the time no <laughs> you, you, you have no food, you have no nothing. So people <laughs> no. tend to, that's true. So mm. people now tend to go and borrow money from the banks. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. And then by the time the New Year comes, you're you now paying loans and you're, oh, it's a mess. Yep. 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 It's, yep. It, it's, it's almost like a wedding. Mm. Yeah, people and, and, and overspend the is, on the wedding, yeah, and then yeah. afterwards they have no food at home. They can't even go on a honeymoon. Nothing. Yeah. And the thing is, we don't even. It's like some people don't learn from that mistake. Nope. <laughs> so it will be. It will happen, and then you do the same thing next year. Guilty, guilty. This is my <laughs> this this is my year of redemption. We'll see if I get it right. Mm, well, <laughs> every 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 year seems to be everyone's year. Right, <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> Richie, you have no faith in me? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Just for that, oh I'm gonna prove you wrong. Watch, watch, okay, watch. good, good, good. I don't want to hear you got no the, the white one of the beanbag. You know, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> we don't want to hear, hear it. That. Neither white nor black. We don't want to hear it. Right, right. <laughs> oh, but let's talk about talk about when the kids misbehave during mm. the holidays and you already <sighs> bought the stuff you want to buy them I more slipped. stuff and You're it's like light. how do you do that because last year i found myself you know my kids teacher w- was calling me like a week before christmas and i'm like still looking at the sales right and it's yeah. like you have to you want to see them so happy but what about when they mess up before the holiday <sighs> you know what <laughs> <laughs> I, you know I'm it's always saying. it's always um people we always do that right or people you always hear that kind of stuff as in like if you're not good you're not going to get these presents mm-hmm. right? it's this general kind of thing that people say right mm-hmm. i think it's tough not to give the presents mm-hmm. or not to buy more presents or whatever but i think it's i think <laughs> i think we would probably feel bad if we didn't get those presents so for example yep. if you wanted to get i don't know it doesn't even matter if you wanted to get a basketball mm-hmm. you know and we hadn't got it yet and then we get the call or they had a fight or they yeah. misbehaved or whatever it is for us not to then get the present i think when christmas comes and everyone's opening opening up their gifts mm-hmm. and that one child doesn't get whatever it, you know whatever it was right i don't know it is i think we would feel probably bad yeah. You know? As much as hard. we'd love to as much as we'd love to kind of stick to it as in yeah. nah, you ain't getting nothing. Nope. Mm-hmm. Nope. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think it would be quite tough for us to just yep. say nah, you're not we, you're not getting none. We just end up giving in, I think. Yes. Yes. We, Is that something good or something bad? I don't know. That's why I'm I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm a guilty one. We might one. need to I'm phone a, a friend one. on this one. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a guilty one because if it is that the kids do something and I'm like, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> let me just have a talk with them about it because kids mm-hmm, are kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, yeah. yeah, kids are kids. So let me just talk to them about it and then still get them get the gift to show them that. Because Thank the way you. how I see these kids these days, if you don't give them something, they think you don't love them. Or you don't love me, I don't care. Mm-hmm. And they want to run away or something. I'm, I'm just saying, that's yeah. how I see kids these days. 
So it's, I it's, don't it's want heartbreaking. The, it's, no, it's heartbreaking. You don't want to break the kids yeah. No, you don't. You want them. You want to see them happy. So you probably sit and have a conversation with them. Listen, um, we can't be. I don't even know what to tell you. I'm just saying you can't be giving trouble. You can't. You know, have a conversation with them. Yeah. And hopefully they understand and get it. But I mean, Christmas. Yeah, everybody wants to be happy. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, Who you wants can't, to be? Yeah, mm-hmm. it's hard for you to just try and ruin that, I guess. Mm-hmm. Go look panacea, Trisha. Just go look panacea. <laughs> Even though they are... And you know what? Sometimes, too, you just have to consider... Um, sometimes teachers take things the wrong way. Or, I mean, yeah. if it was something you know, catastrophic then, of course, but just a little talking in class or things like that. You just, you don't want to take that away from them on, on Christmas or things yeah. like that. Yeah, I mean, everybody still wants to feel loved on Christmas. Mm-hmm. I mean, yep. let them enjoy themselves. That read certain age, hello. Yeah. From my read certain age, nobody going to give me no Christmas gift. Right. What? I don't even get birthday gift. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> from I was in my 20s, I don't get nothing. So as their children, just let them enjoy that. Yeah, you know, yeah. let them yeah. enjoy that experience. Because once the day, like you said, Trish, once the day's gone, mm-hmm. I mean, it's not going to be. It might not be done for them. Come think of it, if they don't get that, if they know they were bad and they didn't get that gift, mm-hmm. right? The next day is not going to be the end of Christmas for them. Exactly. You know, so it'll be end. It'll be end, the end for everyone else because they got what they wanted. Right. Right. But not for the one who didn't get what they, mm-hmm. what you know, they deserve. So it's a bit, yeah, it's tough. It's tough. Yeah. I think we're just slaves to the bloody system, man. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Yep. I agree. And I think because we want to see our kids happy so bad sometimes, yep. we tend to bend a lot. Yeah. Yes. We bend our sure. backs. Broke we're back. Mm. That is for sure. That is for sure. <gasps> but, but yeah, the people who don't have much, I don't even... It's a tough one, isn't it? It's a tough one. The ones who don't, you know, mm-hmm. who want to make self-harm and whatever mm-hmm. else like it's it's, it's their concerns one, are so different right yeah god yeah. yes it is different well, scale totally well. different scale you know. so you know we just well persons to sit out there if you can just give because i mean some persons tend to give things during christmas to people who don't have you know they don't have Mm-hmm. So we just give to them, give who mm-hmm. we can give, and as Richie suggested, you know, persons can probably go to like soup shops or yeah. or other places, um, and give people food. They're hungry, and time is getting cold. Mm-hmm. <gasps> people they might need jackets or stuff, you know, if we can help persons, and if even if we know people who are going through situations of depression or they're anxious, I mean there there's just it's it's a lot and it's really heartbreaking to know that i've 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 witnessed well not witnessed i've been around where i've heard persons kill themselves on christmas day because nobody called them to say merry christmas you know it is rough so we we just reach out to people i normally tend to send a lot of people oh merry christmas and i do it individually for them Mm -hmm. because you really don't know if that can help somebody or not yeah so at least we're trying to do that and reach out just reach out is there any encouraging word that you need to give the people before we close go on trish i'll let you go okay i would just say um like if you find yourself in a situation where you're um unable to produce gifts for the the people that you love a heartfelt christmas letter can you know be be more important than an actual gift so if you find yourself struggling i don't know what to get i don't have enough money blah 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 you know write a heartfelt letter to your mom and dad brother sister niece nephew let them know you know all the great things that happened to you throughout the year and put it in a christmas card and that sometimes is more um, beneficial and more impactful because people already have everything. So we out here running around crazy looking for gifts and people already have everything that they really need. So Mm -hmm. sometimes a little touch of something personal um, can be helpful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can pretty much echo that. Only thing I'd probably add to that is we don't need to go big every year. Mm-hmm. right yes. we just don't need to mm-hmm. and with kids kids are usually grateful with a gift right so mm-hmm. 
we don't have to get that 500 pound 200 pound whatever if we, and especially if we can't afford it don't feel pressured in getting it mm -hmm. like they'll uh, trust me they'll be happy with a 20 you know 20 30 pound gift or whatever it is mm -hmm. they'll be happy with that because it's still a gift right I think christmas a lot of the times it's it's the mentality of unwrapping something right? right so we don't need to go big to make ourselves broke i suppose um we don't and i pretty much echo trisha in, around if we don't you know if we don't have the money or whatever a, a, a christmas card with mm -hmm. a heartfelt message always yeah. works um i think a lot of the times it's about people thinking that you have thought of them so mm -hmm. anything kind of goes with that like if you do a heartfelt card or letter you have thought of that person so i can't imagine somebody doing that and then they're like this is rubbish you know, right yeah I can't, I, you know i can't i can't right imagine, right right you know that kind of thing happening so yeah just just don't put too much pressure on yourself when it comes to christmas or any other holidays if we can't um afford it i know covid this year is going to be very different and uh, you know there'll be regulations coming in where somebody's going to suggest that you know only two persons per house or some some random stuff like that so mm -hmm. you know we can't have to deal with that at the time but yeah mm -hmm. just don't just don't don't make it don't make your anxiety go sky high because you can't do certain things that you want to do for christmas that's all mm. i have to say yeah well done sir thank you so much guys for being on the unfiltered no um yeah it was it was it was really good um yeah i just i'm just gonna tell everybody remember to spend the holidays at home and be safe and just enjoy christmas is just to spend time with persons if you don't have the persons to spend time with just reach out sometimes i mean we don't have friends because some people say they don't have friends or mm -hmm. yeah but find somebody to talk to and yeah just try to be happy try to be happy it's a season of being happy try to be happy yeah so i want to thank you guys you and uh, yes and thank you audience for listening and you will hear the unfiltered back next week tuesday thank you Bam 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 bam